So up everyone, welcome to the Power of Play with CJ trying to focus in on um, you know all the news going around with the Florida Panthers, but the uh, the play of Aaron Ekblad has not been up to standard. Let's just call it that. You know he set the bar high for himself, and I think I picked him to win the Norris Trophy this year. Six assists, I mean six goals, zero assists through 22 games, and that is a concerning stat line for me. Do I think he's dealing with nagging concussion symptoms from the uh, from the World Cup? I do. I, I think that you know the, the injury that caused him to leave the World Cup early, Florida kind of. Oh yeah, it's it's not a big deal. I think it was a bigger deal than they let on, and they put him back out there too soon. They should have given him more time to recover. And he just doesn't look like the Aaron Eckblad I've come to know and love. And by the way, Aaron Eckblad power play with CJ T-shirt on him. No big deal or anything. Just no, just set him up with one down in Florida last year. Not a huge deal. Autograph some shit for me. Not a big deal. Just just bragging. Not to brag, but MVD. Uh, I digress. You know, there just isn't the same level of confidence out there with him. And, you know, for a guy that's supposed to be, you know, the next great defenseman in the NHL and guy that I think is just that, to not have an assist through 22 games is like, what the fuck? You know, what's, what's going on here? And... You know, I think maybe they should have had him sit out a few games, you know, at the start of the season, you know, let him get his head right, um, and I got to do his rush back in, and, you know, we'll see what happens, but, you know, you look at Jacques Gallant and showing the door, and, you know, I think the team struggles this season have a lot less to do with him, and a lot more to do with, you know, guys like Ekblad not, you know, playing up to standard, he's kind of going down the list right here, I mean, you know, the Jared McCann acquisition, he thought was going to give him some depth up front. That hasn't been the case. He's in the, the minors right now. You know, thank God for this. Jonathan Marsh show will probably score, you know, 30 this year. Um, you know, really being a, a great acquisition. I mean, because, again, outside of, you know, some of the big guns, the, the offensive productivity just hasn't been there this season. And uh, they're going to need more from, you know, guys like Riley Smith, you know, guys like Yager, um, you know, going forward to, to get there. And again, it's also the injuries on this team. Jonathan Huberto hasn't played a shift this season, probably won't play a shift before New Year's. And, um, you know, they just got uh, Nick Bukestad back. So they've had Bukestad back for three games. And uh, Gallant gets shown the door. So, you know, I'm not just piling. I'm not saying, oh, it's all Aaron Ekblad's fault that the team's struggling. It's not all Ekblad. It's not all Ekblad. Nor is it all on, was it all on Gerard Gallant. There's so many factors that work with this Florida team, and I just kind of wish the ownership group in the front office kind of be like, maybe pulling the plug on Gallant wasn't the right thing to do, given all that's transpired, is transpiring. But then again, what do I know? Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes to the season and beyond. Later, guys.